wash your hands, wear your mask, stand apart. In our family, we've got keiki, we've got kupuna, and we're always conscious about how close we are to people, especially for me. I'm high risk as a cancer survivor. So it's about the we, not the me. It's a kako thing. So make sure that you stand together by standing apart. How's it, everybody? In the hoa maka maka mai, Hawaii nui o ke avi a hiki ni i hao ka hele lani, na kama aina, na malihini aloha. Woo! Happy aloha. Happy B Thanksgiving. Here we go. Happy Friday. Uh, the madness has begun. Welcome to the sh <coughs> welcome to the show. We're glad that you are here. Okay, we've got a great show lined up for you. As a matter of fact, uh, before we get into the galleries and say hello, because I know that everybody's just logging on. Um, we weren't on YouTube for a couple of moments and said, now we're on YouTube. Yes, we are. Okay. Thank you for the thumbs up gang. Uh, we want to say hello to the solid brown dancers. Uh, but before we do anything else, uh, let me just make sure I've got everything lined up here. Yes, we do. Okay. So coming up on today's show, take a look right now. Uh, coming up, Matt Sprout is in the green room. We were talking to the group, uh, one of the members of Waipuna, Hoko Award winners. They have news that is dropping tomorrow. We'll talk to him about the possibility of a new release. Of course, we tease a little bit of it last week. Uh, two people who are just amazing separately. Uh, we're talking about Craig, Chi, and Sarah Maisel, but they are, of course, making beautiful music together. Not only that, but also uh, they are making music and making sure that the next generation is making music. And they are online like crazy. Nue is got uh, they're our music video of the week. So we have them on tape, on standby, but we will play them at the end of the show. They were just there at the Hawaii Theater just, uh, it was, I think it was last week. Uh, Mahalo to Haka Entertainment and uh, for allowing us to use that footage. All right, so let's go ahead and say hi to, uh, of course, uh, the uh, balcony and see who is uh, watching us today on the show. Uh, we want to say hello to uh, April. She is here, and welcome back. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Rie is on right now. Uh, Kathy Kuikahi is on from Kona. We know that the, a bunch of people are jumping on from Florida and elsewhere, but we thank you for being on the show. Uh, we're glad that you are here. We hope that you are safe, happy, and healthy, uh, especially during this strange time. Uh, real quickly here, let's give you some uh, housekeeping tips. If you get a chance to, and you are now on the YouTube page, well, uh, all you gotta do, oh, that, that way. Uh, working to grow YouTube, we're looking to get a thousand uh, views or a thousand uh, followers, so make sure, subscribers, make sure that you hit the bell and make sure you are subscribing. Look at one of our guests. We, show, we thought we'd show you the green room real quickly as we get ready to go with today's show. Craig is standing by, we will talk to him coming up in minutes from now. Let's go ahead and take a live look outside as we, uh, you know, like to do from time to time. Pipeline is looking nice if you like the rain. Uh, we'd like to say hello to uh, Craig. He was getting some extra extra looks there. Uh, Darty Gamayo is in the green room from Moku Okiave. Thank you, sister, so much for standing by for us. Uh, we'll get to you in just a couple of moments. Once again, Pipeline. 
the island of Oahu, and most of the state right now under clouds and rain. So the usual sunshine that we show you, or we used to show you, well, not here, not today. But you can see, still got some surfers out in the water enjoying. As we take a look, live look outside right now. We've got standing by an interview as we have, uh, there's a couple of things that are going on, especially, specifically this weekend. There is a virtual festival for Pacific Islanders that is coming up and we're going to tell you about it right now. As a matter of fact, joining us is Dr. Tina Toa Sosi Posiulai, uh, Don O'Brien and Tony Silva from the Brothers. Hi gang, aloha. Aloha. <laughs> yeah. Aloha. Do Dr. Tina, we're going to start with you. First of all, tell us what organization you're from and why this is important, this uh, concert coming up. Okay, we have what it's called Pacific Island uh, Hawaii COVID-19 response team working together with Pacifica Empowerment and Advancement as well as the Marshallese Community Organization in Hawaii. So this event is special because it is made up of a lot of Pacific Islanders. We are going to use a lot of, do a lot of uh, public service announcements in our own language, in different Pacific Island languages to spread the word and bring awareness to our community and let them know that we can stop the, the spread and we can save lives. All right. So uh, we're going to bring in Don O'Brien here. And Don, what is going to happen during this virtual concert that's coming up? You know, the number one threat on earth right now is COVID-19 and the number one target in the state of Hawaii is our Pacifica people, especially our Samoan, Ohana, the Ainga and the Micronesian. And so during this concert, we're going to answer that with the resiliency of our people, the warrior people of the Pacific. And that is through laughter with the Bradas. We're going to have mele and song with wonderful people like our Marshallese band and the Palawan band, as well as Kapena, Josh Tatopi. There's going to be a lot of Siva, a lot of Siva Afi, which is fire dance and just a whole lot of good times in the name of good health. Awesome. And then, of course, we've got uh, Tony Silva from The Brothers. So The Brothers are performing, and this is one of the first times you guys have been on stage for a while, right? Oh, this will be our officially our first event back, a formal event, if you will. But like Don was saying, along with the Marshallese band, we have the Palawan band, Kalandi. We have the Samoan band with uh, a couple. Uh, we got uh, Kapena. We've got Josh Tatofi. We've got Rebel Soldiers. It's going to be a fun night. It's about three hours long. So we, we encourage everybody to tune in uh, on Facebook, The Brothers High, and we're going to be cross-posting to all of our entertainers as well. Okay. Dr. Tina, uh, go ahead and give us the date and where can they go ahead and tune in for this? Okay. It will be November 21st from 4.30 to 8. And the flyer is out and it has the, the Facebook, uh, Tony's Facebook account. Okay, so just make sure that you go ahead and uh, go to Tony's Facebook account. So, but uh, you the man on this one, right? <laughs> the brothers, the brothers high Facebook, the brothers high, and we'll be cross posting on all over all of our different entertainers as well. So, um, you know, we look forward to a, a, a nice a round of people from around the world. Really, it's not just Hawaii, but our our Pacific Island brothers and sisters as well. All right, spread the word. Make sure that everybody's watching as we, once again, not only entertain, but also give important messages as well. Everybody, thank you very much. Stay safe and aloha. 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 All right, thank you very much. We go uh, immediately from that interview. Once again, that's uh, coming up tomorrow. Matt Sprode is with us. Yay! Aloha. aloha. Brother. <laughs> And, and, and What's you, up, brother? I'm going to get you here so we can get you full. And uh, if you can do me a favor, just kind of move over towards the center of your camera. If you can do that just a little bit, there that you. would be helpful. How's that? That, that, okay. There we go. So that way, yeah. So anyway, brother, how are you? Congratulations on all the things that your group is doing. Thank you. Thank you. It's been a, it's been a rough year, but, you know, we, we're trudging through. Well, uh, you know, you coming up tomorrow, let's get straight to the point here. You uh, have an announcement coming up tomorrow. Um, I'm guessing that you cannot tell me what that announcement is, probably, right? Because you're holding it till tomorrow. Uh, yeah, I can. Okay. I mean, can. we can tease a little bit, but, you know, like, like I was saying, this has been a very, very tough year for us as musicians. And, you know, particularly at Waipuna, we're, we are um, full-time musicians. We travel a lot. That's where we, That's how we make our money. 
Um, so this year has been very, very tough on us. So, you know, we had a lot of time to ourselves and a lot of time in the possible studio. <laughs> Sounds good. Okay, so uh, once again, <laughs> brother, you tell me, you know, the music that you put on this album is amazing because you worked with a Hawaiian language school on the windward side of Oahu. Am I correct yes. on this? Yes, yes. Back in 2018, um, Kula Kai Haula is where I'm from. And I was born and raised there. Uh, my mother was a teacher at Haula Elementary School. And they asked me, the school asked me a couple of years ago if I would come to the school or I, actually I would write a song for their school. And I said, no, I'm not going to write a song for their school. I'm going to come to the school and I'm going to work with the students and I'm going to have them write their mele. And, Aww. you know, third, fourth, fifth, sixth graders, each one of them took a verse and they specifically spoke about the place that they are from. So the song that they ended up writing was Aumai O Haula, which is Here is Haula. That is amazing. So you worked with them and kind of walked them through that process. Mm -hmm. So, yes. brother, I have to ask you, how was your Hawaiian? Was it a learning process for both of you guys? So were you learned as well as they learned? I uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. I'm imagining but... because if it was me, bro, I would be so lost. You know what I mean? No. Oh. But, you know, I mean, I, I ended up doing more in, in English and they because I can understand more than I can speak. Um, but, you know, they, you know, the, the, it was, the idea was the stories that they learned about that place. And they worked with um, Uncle Sai Bridges, um, who was from Haula also. And he's a Kumuhula uh, cultural, you know, culture god down there in Haula. You know, he... You know, so the, the students learned a lot about Haula. And so they wrote about these places in the song. Wow. So these stories are coming to life and are being breathed through the melee that you guys sing through on the, the release. That, through the keiki, yes. That's absolutely awesome. How long did it take this process? Two days. So I went on two days. And um, I spent one class... Um, one hour with each class, and some of the classes were combined. So the fourth and the third and fourth graders were combined, fifth and sixth graders were combined. Um, but basically, I spent two days with them, and you know, maybe an hour each class each day. Wow, that's amazing! Just to know that you're it getting fun to do this work with them and to bring them into your world. Uh, that's absolutely mm -hmm. amazing. You know, um, they wrote melody also. They, they wrote the melody line also. I have a trick that I use when, when I write melody also, is that so you don't, you know, gather, you know, ideas that you heard on the radio earlier in the morning or whatnot. I had them go on my guitar and just pick, you know, each person pick one area on the guitar on the fretboard. And from those particular notes, we created the melody line. And that's their melody line. That's amazing. Were they were they surprised? Were they did, did, were they pulled into the process when you started doing stuff like that with them? They, you know, I was just looking through some of the footage that I that I took from that couple of years ago, just yesterday, and you know, from that part, which is a starting block, to now, which has actually been finished and recorded, you know, watching the the. The looks on their faces was absolutely amazing. Uh, you could see that it's like, wow. Come yeah. So it was very, very fun. Okay. So when does this release uh, go out to everybody? When can everybody get their hands on it? So AMI Ohaula, we released as a single a couple of weeks ago. So it is out on iTunes right now. Okay. You can, um, you, you can find it on iTunes under Waipuna, AMI Ohaula. <laughs> That's it. It's probably the best way I can say yes. <laughs> okay. But if they need more information, want to find out more about the group, where do they go to? Waipunaonline.com. Okay. Waipunaonline.com. Matt Sproul. Or, or we have our Facebook. Yeah. Waipuna, Waipuna Music. Yeah. Okay. yeah. And uh, once again, Nahoku Hano Hano Award winner, uh, singer, songwriter, and teacher of our Hawaii keiki. That's Matt. <laughs> Continue success, bro. 
Mahalo, mahalo uh, nui. One, one more thing that I want to do mm-hmm. before we go is, is oh, two things. First of all, please wish yeah. your family, your ohana, uh, happy Thanksgiving in advance. Yes, thank you. And one other thing is, is that uh, I'm not going to ask you to turn your camera or any, you know, any, but, you know, a lot of people, they go, oh, wow, is that Matt Sprout's house? You know, so <laughs> what, what, what room are we in? Just kind of describe for everybody. This is my living room. Okay, this living is my room. living room. Yeah. So okay. it's a shoji, I guess, shoji doors and shoji windows and whatnot. So yeah. is this a preferred area where you play music and you sing at, at times? Yes. Okay. Yes. So we're into yeah. your personal singing performance space at home. <laughs> Actually, I, I can show my, uh, my really? guitar wall. My guitar oh! wall. <laughs> wow. Okay. Okay. I yeah. usually don't so, expect that because, you know, I, I don't want to show if they don't want to show, but I appreciate that very much. Ladies and gentlemen, Matt Sprout on the broadcast. Mahalo, here. guys. Mahalo. Mahalo, guys. Matt, we'll talk to you in a bit and, and continue success to you. Aloha. Aloha. All right. From there, we're going to go quickly over to Moku Okeave. We're going to bring on Darty Gamayo real quickly. Um, this is going to be a short story. Darty is on from you in you at home in YPO, babe. Oh wait, 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 wait. I do not have your microphone. Try check and see on your on your on thing if you on the mute button. Try that one. Okay, not happening right now. Do me a favor. So what what you're going to do is is that you're going to go out. And you're going to come back, okay? We're going to do another interview and then pop out and then come back in, okay? And we'll see because we've noticed that that sometimes works, okay? Darty Gamayo standing by. She'll be back with us in just a couple of moments. Two people who are gifted, and when we talk about with Matt about playing, you know, actually before we go to that, there's a whole bunch of people on here. Let me just say hello. TJ Pezzi from Wisconsin. Thank you so much. Atlanta is online. Appreciate that. How are you? Nice to have you on. Nancy, good afternoon. Happy Aloha Friday to you. Uh, Kevin's on from Orlando, Florida. Even the dog is watching and listening right now. <laughs> really, we appreciate that. Kathy Kuikahi, I know, Kathy, that you over in Kailua, Kona. Tucson, Arizona is on. And if you're on, if you're new to the page, put new in just so we know. And we, we like to know that. Uh, Craig and Sarah Chi are joining us. And they are probably going to be the most photographic not only are they beautiful people <laughs> but they have wonderful you it looks like it looks like this broadcast is originating out of your home rather than mine <laughs> that's awesome uh, first of all aloha and good afternoon aloha thank you so much for having us nah no worries you know what i'm gonna what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna change things up a little bit what i'm gonna do is since you guys are there <laughs> And I'm going to just put me over here in this corner down oh, here. Wow. Sarah, how, how are you? You, you okay, Sarah? <laughs> I'm doing great. I'm okay. doing fantastic. Wonderful. Okay. Is it that way? No, no. You're that way. Okay. There, there you are. I have to figure out which way I'm going here. Darty Gamayo's back in the green room. Darty Gamayo, just kind of hang on there for, for a little bit. Craig, go ahead and talk to me for a couple of moments. What got you interested in ukulele? Oh, my gosh. I mean, I grew up here in Manoa, um, inspired by, of course, you know, like, Call Crater Boys, you know, Pure Heart. Um, and I just fell in love with the instrument. Uh, you know, long story short, got into college at the University of Oregon, realized that my instrument of choice, the cello, wasn't going to be like the cool thing at the parties. <laughs> <laughs> so I figured, oh, I'll pick up the ukulele, you know, bring some of the culture that I grew up with. Um, and from there, realized there was this huge boom, this this gigantic global popularity boost of the ukulele this year, and having festivals all over the world and i just got sucked into that that scene um after college and i got to meet my now wife uh sarah um yes uh on tour and 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 through uh being on the kind of ukulele circuit sarah how did you get involved you you play a different style of ukulele you really take it back to um the golden era of hawaii and and what you do is exceptional and special tell us how you got involved with ukulele well honestly i didn't get involved uh with ukulele until uh about 2006 i had played a classical violin and i'd quit playing music for uh 
for a, like six years just doing a totally different career. And I'd forgotten how much I missed music until a friend of mine took me to a place, a pizza place where uh, this was in San Diego, California, where there were 40 or more ukulele players and people uh, dancing hula. And it was one of <laughs> the most just beautiful and happiest places I had ever been in my life. And I saw that and just immediately said, I need to play this instrument. I want to be with these people. And so for me, that's what drew me to the instrument. Now, prior to playing ukulele, had you ever been to Hawaii before? No, never. And I'd never heard Hawaiian music. So for me, it was just this, it was like somebody hit me in the face with this like amazing wall, <laughs> as it were, because I just, I couldn't uh, believe just how beautiful the music and the hula, just everything was. And so I immersed myself as much as I could in San Diego. And I've always loved jazz. And so I kind of put those two loves together. And of course, was inspired by people like Benny Chong, Byron Yasui, and Lyle Ritz. Uh, definitely some of our greats uh, here uh, with uh, the ukulele. Mm -hmm. um, what I'd like you to do for me is well, we're going to kind of make this a little bit interactive because I know we're talking, but you've got your instruments. I know that they're mic'd mm -hmm. up and everything. So give everybody a little sample of what kind of ukulele you were known for prior to meeting your husband, who's over there in the other box? Ah. Give, give me a little bit of a sample. <laughs> let's see here. So just a small sample of a, uh, let's see. Uh... You know, I have to say this, uh, you know, that your husband looks at you the same way he does in every single video. I, I, when he watches you play, there's that smile right there. Uh, let, let's switch that around. Craig, go ahead and play on, you know, what, what you are, were known for playing before the two of you met. See, it's been too long. I, of course, I had the one. I had to be the one that changes, right? So, to be honest. so I mean, if we did something together now, it would be something more like uh, you know, one, two. Three, yeah. four, uh, one, two. Grab your coat, grab your hat, leave your worries on the doorstep. Just direct your feet on the sunny side of the street. Can't you hear the pitter pat? And a happy tune is your step. Life is oh so sweet on the sunny side of the street. Yeah. Yep. Wow. <laughs> Something like that. Nice. <laughs> hey, uh, real quickly here. Um, you not only play music and concerts and travel, well, when, when we all could travel, but also yeah. you teach as well. Talk about that for a little bit. Oh my gosh. I mean, when I was, you know, still here uh, before college or even during college, you know, I, I had the chance to, to, you know, take lessons from the Sukuma studio. I got a chance to take lessons from Troy Fernandez, from Jake Shibabukuro. And I realized that I, I, I absolutely love teaching. Um, I, as much as I like being on stage, there's something about sharing that that joy and excitement with someone else you know mm -hmm. they, when they say catch the bug they you know it really means that and yeah. um and that's i think what connected sarah and i because when we started doing the work uh festivals up on the mainland there was a huge emphasis on workshops and um so we both kind of clicked with that same kind of mentality and it was just wonderful wow um, so right now we actually do have an online yes. ukulele school uh with artist works and so we have students from all over the world and it's just it's awesome it's yeah. so much fun that's awesome that you are sharing that not only with uh the next generation and and even the current generation who was wanting to learn but you have also a little one who is learning as well talk <laughs> yes. about that for a couple of moments how old now oh my gosh he <laughs> is 10 months old 
and he absolutely loves music. He's so gentle with the ukulele too. He, we let him play any instrument that's in our hands. He'll come over to us and want to play and we just let him play. You know, he's surprisingly gentle. He's very good at strumming and he loves to dance. So he'll, he'll totally dance in time, surprisingly. <laughs> Wow. It's very sweet. That metronome yeah. is already going in the head there. You know, <laughs> it and, is. And sometimes when you guys are doing your streams, uh, that's a little bit of the pre, pre-game show, right? <laughs> yeah. It yes. is. We love, we love to bring him out, you know, especially now that we can't travel. We were expecting to be able to have him join us for gigs and to have him meet all of his aunties and uncles everywhere. And unfortunately, uh, we can't do that right now. So we use the live streams so that they get to see him grow up still. Yeah. It's been nice having you guys on, and, and, and we're, we're going to have you on from time to time as we go here. It, it is such a pleasure to talk That's to the awesome. both of you. I'd like to leave you with, uh, to with leave, have you as part by you telling one story. How did you guys meet? And when did you know? <laughs> oh, my gosh. So, so it, it involves a G-string. It um, actually does involve a G-string. <laughs> Wow! So I had some some questions about her her low G string that I had I to, to help her with, but yes. um, no, I, and 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 as you can see too, like uh, there were so many things that just locked into place. Some um, the beautiful mm-hmm. uh, custom instruments um, by Kanalea ukuleles yes. up here um, at Kaneohe, um, you know, were a huge part of our sound. Um, you know, but they're tuned a little bit differently. They were made mm-hmm. with these specific tunings in mind. Um, and and everything just came together. People knew that we were going to get together before well, we did. Well, I do um, have to say one of the catalysts is a gentleman here on the islands, Mr. Brian Tolentino, no! was one of the people that, yes, that went up to Craig at one of the festivals and said, hey, Craig, go for it. <laughs> well before we had any idea. And that's all he said. He didn't say anything else and just walked away. Brian is a man so of can, few words, can... but he is impactful when he does speak. And, and yeah, yes. I can see that happening. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. yeah, so everyone knew before we did and uh we ended up we performed for a year or so together before uh finally uh finally dating and then we were married in 2015 and these instruments were actually um wedding gifts from Joe and Kristen. Okay, so who said something first? Oh, who was it? Probably Sarah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it might, you know what? I, I, yeah, I don't remember now. I would, I'll go with what Craig said and say, sure, it was me. Okay, okay, <laughs> sounds good. Um, would you like to entertain us with a song before we part ways on this Friday? Sure, and, and can I say one thing? Because I, you know, one of the big reasons why we're actually here now on Oahu. Um, you know, we, we had, you know, we have our, our online school, we have our online events and workshops that we've been hosting. Um, the mini fest that we put on like the nine hour long live stream with Woo! like 30 different wow. uh, ukulele artists around the yeah. world. Um, but also an opportunity to work uh, more hand in hand with one of our biggest sponsors, which is Kanalea. And I really yeah. did want to thank them so much. And I know there's a ton of things that for them, uh, it's it's been amazing with the new storefront at Windward Mall. And it, it's yeah. just been awesome that they've been able to inspire others by kind of still pushing forward and investing in, in, in future rather than kind of being reserved and kind of holding back. So I, I applaud them for their big push. Yeah. Not only that, but you know, with the new store, they've got some great entertainment. As a matter of fact, uh, in weekend events coming up in just a little bit, we'll talk about uh, who they've got there in the store. But uh, in the meantime, so what, Craig, can find you over there, yeah, from time, or both of you guys from time to time. Yes, and mm-hmm. we'll actually be playing there uh, December 5th. Yeah. Okay, go ahead and check them out. It is Craig and Sarah Chi here on Billy V Live. Yay. Awesome. Thank you so Thank very you. much. You wanna, uh, can you switch instruments real quick? Can I switch instruments? Can. Can. Oh, hold on one second. Okay, 10 seconds, 10 seconds. <laughs> okay, no, no, no. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Okay, so okay. Do, you okay. both of, do both of you have to move? Craig, can you, can you talk while she moves? Shoot. Can I have yeah, yeah, can, can. Okay. okay, so describe your rooms. Describe what part of the house this is. Oh my gosh, we just got all of our boxes from San Diego. So, nope. Uh, so, so we are still unpacking. I cannot show you around because it's like, you know how it is, yeah, just whatever's in frame is like just good enough. <laughs> right. 
exactly. That that's all I expect. But but since you know we're talking about you know where you are, I just is this the living room or is this a select room? This is the we call this the sun room. Uh, it, it's it's nice. We're actually really close to um, Manoa Stream. It's beautiful. It's absolutely gorgeous and uh, very fortunate to be here. Thank you guys so much yeah. for being on the show, and thank you for grabbing the instrument, and thanks for explaining your new Halle, and congratulations to the both of you. Oh, thank you no, so thank much. Thank you very, very, very much. Yeah. East, yeah. East of the sun and west of the moon. We'll build that dream house of love, dear. Near to the sun in a day, near to that moon at night. We'll live a lovely way, dear. Living on love in the pale moonlight, just you and I. Forever and a day. Love will not die, we'll keep it that way. Up among the stars we'll find a harmony back to a lovely tune. East of the sun, west of the moon, dear. East of the sun and west of the moon Was amazing. Like to thank Craig and Sarah for being on the show. By the way, they are playing once again. Uh, Kanile o ukuleles. You can go ahead and check them out, and they are uh, out there. Uh, Craig works now over there, uh, but you can see them a lot online. Go ahead, uh, find them on their website. You know what? We'll post the the websites and we'll put the links underneath down in the description below coming up after the show darling mile has been waiting patiently and i'm hoping that her audio works let's go ahead and find out right now as we get around here let's cross our fingers darling how are you i'm good can you Yay! hear me yes we can that's amazing <laughs> it's nice to have you here hey um so i wanted to let you know that the waimea christmas parade that you know we're going to be talking about here i actually marched in that darn thing that is cold up there it's cold in waimea yeah. Yeah, it can get pretty cold. It's like the perfect wintry weather in Hawaii. Nice. As close to winter as it gets. Hey, so uh, there's been a difficulty because you can't do the parade. And so you guys have been doing something different and it's starting to get attention. What are you doing? Um, when we got the call saying that we needed to cancel um, what would have been the 60th annual Waimea Twilight Christmas Parade. Wow. It was kind of a bummer because the last 10 years, it's been a benefit for the Big Island Giving Tree. Mm -hmm. And what they do is they'd send out their bucket brigade through the crowds. A lot of people gather in Waimea for that parade. I'm talking like five, six, seven thousand people. Yep. And so um, I was bummed out because I was like, wait, what about Giving Tree? How are we going to get money for them? You know, they, they do kupuna holiday meals, gift bags, they feed the homeless, they are less fortunate, cakey, they do so much for our big island. And kind of slept on it and came up with the idea, hey, let's do a virtual parade. And so I talked to the coordinator, Auntie Lonnie Olson, and told her, Auntie, let's do a virtual parade. And she's like, okay, cool, how do we do it? And I was like- <laughs> That was my question, yeah. I don't know. I said, okay, wait, let me call you right back. I'll think about it. And so I thought about it for a little bit. And I thought, you know what? If we have people decorate their houses inside, outside, their vehicle, their business, and submit a 20-second video, I'll find one of my video editing friends and we'll shorten their 
you know, shorten it a little bit, mute everything, play Hawaiian Christmas music in the background, and we'll put it all together and do a virtual parade. Okay, so, Pete, so you, you've we, said this and you yeah. put it out there, but now other people are catching on to this, and you've been contacted from people outside of Hawaii Island. Outside of Hawaii, yeah. Yeah, outside, outside of, of Hawaii, Hawaii Island. Yeah, they want to, um, not just Hawaii Island, but like from the mainland. Like they come here, they can't come this winter because they're stuck at home. They don't want to travel, but they want to be a part of it because they donate every year. And so we said, you know what? It's a fundraiser. How do you get in to be a part of it? You make a donation to the Big Island Giving Tree. You go to their website, BigIslandGivingTree.com. Make a donation, submit your 20-second video, and you're in. So we're going to open it up to whoever is out there, whatever part of the world you're in. If you want to be a part of it, come on over. We're going to welcome you. We need participants. I'm hoping I'm not going to have to um, decorate my house too much. <laughs> right? <laughs> okay, honey, decorate the truck. You decorate your four-wheeler. You, I mean, you know, no, we're just joking about it. But um, I've been starting to get a lot of interest. So if you want information, email us, B-I-V-C-L-P at gmail.com. And just say, hey, I want more info. I'll go ahead and send out the information to you. We've got a Facebook page. Darling, Big Island darling, hang on for a second. Give me, give me that email okay. one more time. B I V C L P at at gmail.com. Gmail.com. Okay. So what I've done is I put it right there at the bottom, right there. You see where Dr. Gamayo smi yep. smiling. There is the email address for you. Okay. And what else? And then we've got a Facebook page. We've got an Instagram account. Um, I just got word from the local TV station here, Naleo TV. They're going to feature, they're going to play our video once we get it all compiled, the week of Christmas between the 20th and the 25th. And, um, you know, we're just we're just hoping that people participate. It's something different. Times are changing. Um, and we'll see where it goes. Our biggest hope is that we can raise money for the Big Island Giving Tree so they can continue to help our Hawaii Island residents during this time of need. Okay, Darty Gamayo, once again, she's on Hawaii Island and continuing to do good things. And sister, go get them, virtual parade. And we're looking forward to the, seeing the world on your broadcast and the world watching you guys. All right, I'll let you know when we're ready to roll, Billy. Okay. Hey, decorate your house. I expect an entry from you. <laughs> yes, ma'am. <laughs> yes, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there's the email. We'll put that down on the description uh, after the show. Darty, uh, in case I do not talk to you before, then Thanksgiving to you. Happy Thanksgiving to you and your family. Yeah, you too, Billy. Thank you so much. Stay safe. You too. Aloha. Aloha. Okay, welcome back. Uh, we do have some breaking news here uh, this afternoon. One of the popular films, HIF 2018, uh, was uh, going ahead and uh, showing at that time, was Ki Puka, an anti-bullying project by T-Shirt Theater at Farrington High School. It was led by George Kahn. Uh, it embarked on the film festival circuit and by mid-2019 began negotiations to find a film distributor. Finally, the film has just received national film distribution on Amazon Prime. Okay? That's amazing. Giving more people the chance to see it. In 2018, the theater group got a big monetary award from the Gift Foundation to address bullying, cyberbullying, and teen suicide. So they began to produce stories to, uh, that would tackle these subject matters. While filming for social media coverage, they realized that, that after taking you know, hundreds of hours of footage, they had the components of a documentary. George says this is a piece of young people telling their own stories in their own words. Bullying happens all the time, and particularly online, it is a, a real scourge because people are so vulnerable. You know, they're they're posting images and video of themselves and asking for approval. And any troll can come along and diss somebody or trash somebody, and it's devastating. 
It was never intended uh, to be a feature film, but hopefully more people will get there. Um, there's a group out of originally out of Hawaii, based in Los Angeles, um, and based here on the island of Oahu. They've just released their new single, War With My Mind, and there's a picture that we received from the group in just moments ago uh, by email. This is out now on all digital streaming platforms. Their official music video is on YouTube. It is going up as we speak. Uh, CrimsonAppleBand.com. Once again, this is new news. Crimson Apple, uh, they are four family members. Uh, they're all sisters. Uh, they were here in Hawaii just starting to make some headway, and a Japan company picked them up for management. And they are now uh, in Los Angeles, California. So congratulations to them. Hey, uh, let's go ahead and give you some um, weekend event news here uh, because there's a bunch of stuff that is happening this weekend. So here we go on this. Um, Aloha Harvest, uh, there's a free concert event that is coming actually right after our live show. So after we're done with this, I get a little bit of a break. And then starting at 5.30 p.m. Hawaii Standard Time, Aloha Harvest has an open to all Zoom event that will celebrate some of their COVID-19 response partners. Uh, I'll be emceeing music from Josh Satofi, Travis Kaka, Mark Yamanaka, Myla Gibson. Uh, this is also in place of their originally planned 20th anniversary event, which was slated for this past March that they were supposed to have. So um, they weren't able to have it, but you know what? Uh, they are going to be doing this this evening. And I am going to be the MC. So we hope that you get a chance to go ahead and check it out. Coming up, University of Hawaii Rainbow Warrior Football. That's coming up for you. And uh, that's going to be, of course, uh, Hawaii versus Boise State. And that's going to be uh, actually the pregame show is on right now at Hawaii Rainbow Warrior Football. We are interviewing uh, Austin Pettis. And, of course, my co-host is Greg Salas of the University of Hawaii and also played in the NFL. Greg and Austin actually played together in the St. Louis Rams organization uh, back in the day. And so we get to talk a little story. It's a tough interview, though, because Austin Pettis is from Boise State, but good friends with Greg Salas. So that's happening there. Uh, you can once again see that pregame show on Hawaii Rainbow Warrior Football's Facebook. Papa McKinney is Sunday night. Let's take you into the studio. All right, nice and loud because everybody's watching you. They're watching every single move that you do, every <laughs> word that you say. Okay, don't be nervous. Everybody get ready to clap. Okay, go. Roll five, take one. Yay! <laughs> All right. Welcome back to the set, McKenna Maduli. Aloha, everybody. We have something so special planned for you this Sunday, November 22nd on Pop-Up Makeke. But we can't say what it is. I mean, it's the It's killing me. <laughs> so what we, we have something special that's coming up on Sunday. So you want to make sure that you're online uh, on the social media just before Pop-Up Makeke goes on the air because that way you'll get to know as soon as we go on the air. Live. We've been talking story with people from our Lahui all over the world. It's been nice to interact with them. We are featuring products of course that are created and made right here in Hawaii. From across the islands it's the best of it and we got to say mahalo to Council for Native Hawaiian Advancement right. because they're the ones that put all of this together so that we can support our artisans that put out wonderful from lole to pictures Beautiful to pictures. audio and much much more and fashion. App, app. Absolutely fashion. I'm wearing Lawai designs today. We also have free shipping. Can we talk about that? Yeah. Okay, you get free shipping, you get free shipping, you get free shipping. Everybody, Everybody gets free shipping. Yay! <laughs> Everybody, don't forget to tune in at 8 p.m. on KHNL Sunday nights. We will see you very, very soon. All right, let's get you back into the home studio. Woo! <laughs> All right, weekend is here. Let's go ahead and get you uh, some of the activities that are happening this weekend. Uh, some of the events now, as we get more into what we would consider normalcy later on, whenever that is, uh, we'll start to give you some of the live events. But right now we are focusing on some of the events that are happening um, this weekend. And most of them are online, as you can imagine. Uh, let me see here, as I take a look here. Coming up, today is the 20th, right? Today's the 20th, so. Kailana is playing tonight. She's got a performance. 
Uh, Noa Marquee, virtually yours, has a live stream. That's Noa Valley Theater. Mana up Hawaii has a live stream that's going to be over at Hawaii Theater. Uh, that's also happening today. Flowers of Hawaii. This is the last performance of the last weekend over at uh, online performance from Kennedy Theater. Lee Catalunas, right? This is uh, Lee Catalunas one. Flowers of Hawaii. So, but the thing is, it's free. It's free for you. There is a company that came and just says, you know, we're going to buy out the theater. And you can see it for free. So go and find out. Search for it online. Flowers of Hawaii. If we get a chance to, we'll put it in the description after the show. Uh, Kaimi Hananoeao is at Stonefish Grill. That is a live performance coming up at 6.30 p.m. Those are all of today's events. There's stuff like Creative Lab Hawaii with a live stream. Live streams. Uh, Henry Kapono this weekend. George Kahumoku from Maui. Max Angel and JG Jerome. Oh, sorry, those are on the 25th. But there's lots happening. So if you get a chance, check out some of them. Um, did we go through? I think did did we go through anything else? Oh, there we go. Hit that one. Hmm. Okay. So Friday, I didn't mention Shane Kainoa, 1938 Indo Indochine. Um, Moani Cafe is where Kai uh, Kailani is going to be, and then coming up tomorrow. There we go. Diamond Head Theater has a musical matinee drive-in concert coming up on Saturday. Indigenous Storytelling Zoom Webinar by Creative Lab Hawaii. That's going to be online. And of course, Sundays, Henry Capono's at Duke's. Diamond Head Theater's got their musical matinee. And Duraku Waikiki is where you'll find Kilana. If you've got an upcoming weekend event, send your email to us. And that's at studio at billyv.live. All right, there you go. Uh, let us get, ooh, do we have that? You know what? No, we don't. Oh, no, we don't. Um, the boys have been busy, uh, both of them, and I don't think that we have our uh, usual um, inspire you today from Kaleo Boy Kia. And let me just check this real, real quickly for you. And yeah, we don't have one this week, so we'll get one next week for you. Oh, no, we do have one. Okay, we'll have one coming up, and it, he just sent it. So we'll go ahead and bring this down, and we'll use up some time here, and we'll have it for you in about 30 seconds or so. We'll be able to show that to you. And, yes, it is downloading now as we speak. Um, I think we mentioned all the items for you. Uh, Sunday is Papa Makeke. Uh, that's going to be on KHNL. Oh, one thing that I did not get a chance to tell you with Papa Makeke, if you watch the show, um, there is a special announcement. I mean, it's literally we get on the air, and they're going to hand us a piece of paper with the announcement, and we're told it's going to be big. So make sure that you're tuning in 8 o'clock. That's on Sunday on KHNL for Pop Up Makeke. Okay. In the meantime, here, watch this. Billy V. Aloha, my brother. Aloha to you, aloha to your ahana, and aloha to everybody watching Billy V Live. My name is Kaleo Boykia, and this is your Inspire You message of the week. And it goes a little something like this. Words are free. It's how you use them that may cost you. You see, folks, something quite controversial happened last week here in the islands, and it really showed me how valuable the words that we use really are. And just like the quote says, even though words are free, when used incorrectly, they can cost us greatly. So your challenge this week, guys, is to discover the mana in your leo. Discover the power in your voice. And let's use it to do good things and continue spreading the aloha. That right there is your Inspire You message of the week. Billy V, I always appreciate you having me, brother. I hope you guys have a great day, a great week, and I'll see you folks next week. Kaleo Boy Kia here. Peace. Love. Aloha. Chi. So much appreciate that, bro. Uh, I want to go back over to our uh, gallery here because there's so many people that are on. Sean and Teresa uh, Ho uh, are on. 
Uh, Hikaya Versteeg, awesome performance. Uh, Teresia, by the way, nice to see you on, and I, I, I owe you a phone call, so uh, we have to talk story in a bit. Hi, Auntie Renette, how are you? Nice to see you on. Melanie Evans was saying beautiful, and I think that that's the performance a little bit earlier. Darty Camayo, you're very, very welcome. And there's the information, by the way, B-I-L-C-P at gmail.com. That's the interview that she did just a little bit earlier. Uh, did Crimson Apple perform already? They did not perform here on the broadcast. We did not have them live. They actually, Eric, just made that announcement uh, today. So uh, we're hoping to hear from them very, very soon. Thank you for asking. But if you want to see the music video, go over and check out crimsonappleband.com because they got the music video or the links to it on that page. Mehanako Okala Hind is, of course, a, uh, a, a alumni of Billy V Live, having been on here. And yeah, I know, Papa Makeke, everybody's doing their shopping there. And so we hope that you uh, get your chance to do your you know, holiday shopping and Oh, free shipping, by the way. And, and Kathy says, great advice. Thank you for sharing. Oh, no worries. And, oh, Jeremy. Oh, Kama Hopkins. Awesome message from Kaleo Boy. By the way, Kama Hopkins, you're coming up in just a couple of moments. So uh, stick around. Hey, real quickly here, uh, we want to thank you for being with us on, on Facebook. And what we're going to be doing is, is that um, we're kind of streaming. Well, we are streaming. We're we're starting to kind of focus. <laughs> yeah, go ahead, laugh, laugh. Yay! Hey, hey it's Friday. Know. We're streaming. You're streaming. We're hey. We're extremely, extremely beautiful. Yeah, we're focusing oh, ourselves oh, and and in our direction. So, um, what we're going to be doing is, I know that some of you are watching this on my Facebook page. William Van Austell, or you're watching uh, on Billy V Sunrise, just know that everything's going to be kind of focused. If you go facebook.com slash Billy V Live, uh, we're going to be there. Or on YouTube, we're at uh, just go youtube.com slash Billy V. Okay, B-I-L-L-Y-V, and it'll bring you right to the show. So uh, just know that uh, starting next week, we're going to be kind of focusing, but we'll put messages out to let you know. That's going to do it for our show. It's been a packed show. Mahalo to our guests for being on. Um, and if you need more information, we'll put that available. Or you can ask your questions on the Facebook side, and we will go ahead and answer those quickly. We want to say hello to Jaslyn. Jaslyn has been moderator today. And uh, if you saw any comments from her, from Billy V Live, that's coming from her. Um, and also, we have our other producers who are in the background from our dancers and massage therapists. <laughs> Yes, because yeah, it's been stressful yeah. this week to Guy, who is also here on the sidelines cheering us all on. We're cheering you all on, and we hope that you share the show and share it with more people, and we will see you here next week. What we are going to do is we're going to leave you with our music video of the week. We found this one. Imagine that you are three talented, talented gentlemen. And you are a Hawaii recording artist, but you, you, you are together. And me, I'm a fly on the wall just getting a chance to sit. They're actually rehearsing, but it sounds so good. I was just like, oh, they sound awesome. So uh, you, we heard you, you heard us mention one person a little bit earlier, Brian Tolentino, and then, of course, Kama Hopkins, and the other one is Halehaku Seabury. So Nue, N-U-E. You see them sometimes on Ho'ola Hawaii. So imagine that you're there really close up and personal and you get to see the 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 mental physical and visual interaction between them as they play and it is the reason why i chose that as music video of the week so as we go out take care and especially because it's getting near the holiday seasons remember to distance wash your hands and wear your mask we'll see you a little bit later. Have a wonderful weekend. Okay. That was the cue to play the video. Okay? <laughs> and go. Stop.
die. 